I think we agree that social media is not the best use of our time. I wanted to do a challenge that would have the most positive impact on my life by eliminating the most negative thing. So I deleted YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube Studio. So how did my challenge go? Today is day zero. I just deleted all my social media and I've just been wandering around and petting my cat Tigger. I guess I'm gonna have a lot of time to think and digest my thoughts. Right now, I don't feel like doing anything other than just wandering around and petting Moti and Tigger. I'm gonna give it some time until I get the feeling that I wanna do something like read a book. Not the most promising start to a no social media challenge. Maybe I'll just end up wasting time in a bunch of other ways other than social media. But I, it doesn't look like a solid start. I don't know if this no social media challenge will result in anything positive. We'll see. Today is the morning of day one without social media. The reason yesterday was called day zero was because I used Instagram and YouTube before deleting it yesterday. So today is the first day, full day without social media. And speaking of Instagram, when I checked Instagram and I saw one of the stories, there was a person that I met last week for the first time. It was a small group gathering. We were a few people meeting for the first time together. And in that story, I found out that they met up without me. So I wasn't invited and I probably wouldn't have wanted to go anyway because it was a night out. I do not like going out night outs. I just like sleeping early. So it's not the fact that I missed out, but the fact that I wasn't invited and they liked each other more as new people then they liked me. At least one of them didn't want to include me. And of course, when that happens, you don't feel good. I didn't feel good. And I was like, I don't need to see this shit, man. I was perfectly fine not knowing anything that they met up without me. So fuck you, Instagram. I'm glad I deleted you. Today is day two of no social media. Today, I didn't spend any screen time at all, other than on my phone messaging people, but no watching content time today. I read a shitload. So that was over three hours of reading today. Now the question is, will I be able to absorb everything that I read? Feeling a little blah right now. If I'm being honest, there was a girl I went on a couple dates on, we've been messaging every day, talking on the phone pretty frequently too, and she just, suddenly stopped messaging back. So that was the first little start of something that seemed promising for the first time in years, but guess it wasn't that promising after all. That's why I'm feeling a little blah and lying down. So I was in a bit of a rut after being rejected. I did not feel like doing anything. So I lay in bed for a long time but I turned on music. I have a Spotify playlist called Positive with Uplifting Lyrics. I reminded myself that everything is turning out as it should, and listening to the music with uplifting lyrics really did help me out. It's a beautiful night, and I know everything is gonna be alright. From day four to seven, I did not film anything, but I did finish my no social media challenge. I did not watch any social media, although I did watch a lot of French Open tennis on TV, so I did spend a lot of screen time, but I did finish my no social media challenge. And you know what I did when my challenge was over? I binged YouTube for hours on TV, so I relapsed. I completely binged after not binging for seven days. The feeling after binging videos, I just felt bad. Unlike after binge reading, I did not feel bad at all. In fact, I felt good after binge reading. Now are binge reading books really better than binge watching videos? That's a good question, and I don't know. But apparently for attention span and memory, reading is better than watching videos. And even for my mood, it's a definite yes that binge reading makes me feel better than binge watching. So the goal is to binge read instead of binge watch. But the big question is, has this no social media challenge changed my life? My phone usage has changed. I'm no longer watching any stories or reels or seeing any photos on Instagram since I blocked it and I'm just using it as messenger. I'm not reinstalling Twitter or TikTok or YouTube on my phone. So this challenge looks like it'll have a lasting impact on my phone usage. On my TV time, we'll see. But I want to continue the trend of reading more and watching less. If you're interested in cutting out some social media, 
I would suggest you try this out for one day, just for one day, no YouTube, no TikTok, no Instagram, no social media. If you're watching movies all the time on Netflix, try cutting that out too and see what you do with your time just for one day. Just try it out for one day. You just might find that you become more intentional with how you spend your time and especially the kind of social media that you allow back into your life after the challenge. 1% better every day, baby. <laughs>